Okay, so first of all, I'm going to type the number one in here, then select this cell and hover my mouse over the bottom right hand corner until I get the black cross. And then I will click and drag down. And this will get me multiple copies of the number one. The next method involves selecting all of the cells first, then typing the number two and using the keyboard shortcut control enter to put the number two into all of these cells. You can also select individual cells by holding down control and then clicking on the cells that you want to select, then typing in the number two and using the keyboard shortcut control enter again. The next method involves typing the number three and then doing equals and selecting this cell and enter and then clicking and dragging this down. And this works because every single cell is linked to the cell above it. So they all end up with the number three. You can also do this to individual cells by holding down control and selecting them, then doing equals and selecting this cell here then pressing F4 on the keyboard to insert the dollar signs around this cell reference to make it an absolute cell reference, then using the keyboard shortcut Control Enter. Then if I change this number up here, all of the other numbers change to match it. The next two methods involve using the sequence and rand array formulas, which are only available in the newest version of Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to type equals sequence and then the number of rows is 11 and the number of columns is one and the start is four and then the step is zero. Usually the step is the number that you want to increase by each time. But if I put this as zero, then the number increases by zero each time. So you just end up with multiple copies of the same number. Then with the rand array formula, this returns an array of random numbers. So the number of rows is 11 and the number of columns is one. And then if you put the same number for the minimum and the maximum, then it has no choice but to choose that number. And so you end up with multiple copies of the same number again. And with these two formulas, you can change the number of repeats as well as the number itself. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to get multiple copies of the same number in Excel. And that is everything.